Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the comfort of my backyard. I want to thank all my supporters this year, my new and my old. I wouldn't be where I'm at without you. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for December 25th through December 31st. Now this is intended to be a love reading, we will see what comes up. This may not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. There's discontent within a relationship. Somebody is struggling to let go. Okay? We have this Ten of Cups and this Two of Cups reversed with this Ten of Wands and this Four of Pentacles. And somebody has had their guard up, you know, their guard has been up and they've been fighting. It's like I always have to stick up for myself. Somebody's like picking fights with you, you know, and you've been wanting this to work out, putting in all your effort. You're right on the verge of letting it go, you know, but, you know, your heart has been aching. You're not quite sure what to do. There could be a third party situation going on behind the scenes there is discontent within a relationship absolutely it's like somebody's not happy they want to let go you know or they're they don't want to let go it could go either way but something needs to be let go of with both of these cards right next to each other something needs to be let, let go of because it's a, it, there's no need to fight somebody is sick of fighting all the time it's like I don't want to argue with you anymore I don't need this depression in my life if we can't work together then you know I'm not sure if we need to split you could be dealing with a Leo Aries or Sagittarius you know and it's like you've put in a lot of effort doesn't seem like it's going anywhere you've had faith in this it's like right now it's there you're not making progress there's no victory here there's no success no matter what you do you can't succeed with this person you know there's no happiness it's like what the hell what happened here it's like there's a lot of discontent it's like the happiness is gone within the relationship, within the union. And now it's all we have to do is let go. But that's kind of a struggle because change sucks, okay? And, you know, there will be some hurt involved with letting go. But it's been a constant battle, okay? Look at those aces. Okay, somebody has to accept the truth. You're, you're being offered a couple of gifts right now. Okay, what are you going to do with them? Somebody from above is handing you, you know, a cup of security and stability and a cup of the truth. So what's it going to be? Okay, do you want to hear that? Do you want to accept the truth? Do you want to speak your truth? I mean, there you're being asked to open your eyes. This is an awakening. It's a wake up call. You are being offered the truth of a situation. What are you going to do with it now that you've received it? Okay, you have to face it. You have to, even if it's unhappiness, you know, you have to do the right thing. You know, even if it involves uh, hurt, okay, you have to do the right thing. You know, it will bring more security in the long run. It's like, if you can accept this truth, you will end up more secure and stable in the long run. 
right now with this six of wands reversed, it's like there's no progress being made within this union, within this partnership. There isn't. And so it's really heavy to carry around with this ten of wands. It's like, man, I can't, I'm not sure how long I can do this. It's, it's like a huge weight to carry this around knowing that there's unhappiness with these two cards somebody's not happy and I think it's because somebody has been pretty stern you know there's somebody's been pretty stern and not working with you you know not not compromising this person will not compromise and it's like oh, man if you know if we can't work together and compromise because there's a lack of compromise with this three of pentacles if we can't work together and compromise then what the hell then we ain't gonna go nowhere because it's not just about you and this person is like it's about me and i don't care what you think you know it's about me right now okay and here you are and this is a man or woman queen of pentacles okay you're just you're just want to be stable and secure that's all you're looking for you're looking for stability and security and it feels like this person is breaking your heart and they're making you unhappy because for one i feel like they are putting in equal amounts of effort and time into the relationship they aren't um they aren't happy. I don't think this person's a happy person. Okay? They aren't a happy person. It's like, woe is me. You know, they, that's the way I feel about this person. It's like, woe is me. They they feel like they, they're the victim. They're carrying around so much. Like, they're doing all the work. And they're not giving you credit. And that's bullshit. Because you deserve some credit here. Okay? You've done a lot. And you deserve this. Okay? You deserve some credit. And I feel like you're you're like, you know what? This is this this battling that we're going through back and forth isn't worth it for me. It isn't worth it. I feel like you've nurtured this situation and you've tried to give this person as much security and stability that you can. But the fact of the matter is, is they're not seeing it. They're not opening their eyes. All right. And there could even be a third party situation. Perhaps they're not opening your eyes because they have their eyes on somebody else. I mean, I'm just saying we have these threes here. I mean, that could certainly be the case. I mean, it could be the case for somebody who's watching this. I think you're, you have some, some suspicions, okay? You have some suspicions about this person, and they're probably right on. I think your, suspic sus your suspicions are, are, are true, whatever they are. Whatever you're suspecting is right on. I think this person has something up their sleeve that they're hiding, and I'm not sure what it is, but I think you might know what it is, okay? Um... Although, you know, you really have to accept the truth. I mean, the truth is the truth is being offered to you regarding this unhappy situation with this person. And this can be anybody, but this signifies Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It feels like you need to just, you know, forgive. Forgive something or they need to forgive something. Forgiveness is needed here. Okay, it's time to heal from this person. There's been some conflicts. It's like somebody has a chip on their shoulder. Maybe this is the person that has their chip, the chip on their shoulder. You know, and it's like it's, it's really affecting your union, your partnership. It really, really, really is. It's affecting your overall happiness. It's bringing your vibration down because they're so set in their ways. They won't budge. They hold a grudge. And it's like almost like woe is me poor poor me you know and that's not you i think that's the other person with that mentality somebody you know wants to free themselves but they're not they don't dare to or they're real close to freeing themselves okay they're on the verge on the verge of walking away from this situation you know, it's like, th this is the death of an idea, so it feels like, you know, I can't do this anymore. I can't have this strife in my life. I can't. I'm not going to fight with you anymore. 
You know, because the thing is, is you're a beautiful soul. And I think, I'm not sure who else I told this to, but this, this signifies a very beautiful, compassionate person, man or woman, who really has a lot going for them. This person has a gentle, compassionate demeanor who really deserves, deserves something more, okay? I feel like... Um, they're taking advantage. This person is taking advantage of your gentle, compassionate soul, you know, and that's why you're stuck. That's why you're you're resisting this change because you're so compassionate. You don't like to give up. You love unconditionally, and I feel like that's what's going on here. Your unconditional love is basically a what they're using it to their advantage, put it that way. Yeah, there is. This cycle is about to end. Plus, there's something going on, and I think you know what it is. There's something hidden. There's like a secret that's hidden in like your suspicions, like I was telling you earlier. There's something going on behind the scenes, all right? There is. When the moon card comes out, there's something you don't know. But you might know because I think you're, you're pretty well aware of something. You know something's going on. You just don't know what, okay? This tells me that, you know, there's a cycle that probably is about to end or a new cycle is going to be begin because that's what the moon brings the moon bring, brings cycles you know and this signifies freedom so you know you guys could be coming free from a situation that no longer serves you i think you're being taken advantage of and i think there's a, like the end of a relationship on the horizon with this ten of cups reversed this four of swords and this two of cups reversed and my sun card I mean, it really appears like in this, I mean, it appears that something is about to end. The end of an idea or something like that could be a person, a relationship. You know, the door could be closing. There's no more forward movement. There's no place to go from here. It's like there's no progress that can be made. There's no victory, no success with this Six of Wands. It's like there's a lack of respect here. It's like this person doesn't respect your wishes. They don't respect you. It's like they don't even see all that you're worth they don't see what you've put in they're taking advantage of you yeah they are they absolutely are it's like they don't even care what they do they don't even care if they grow with you it's like they're, they're just putting in nothing you know it's like they're not really putting any effort into this relationship i think this person probably spends a lot of time with their head under the covers you know what i mean or under the pillow or whatever you know, and doesn't really even want to communicate with you. They're just a lack. They don't communicate well. They're not moving forward. They're not really doing anything to make the relationship better. And they're hiding something. So I don't know who it is. And I'm sorry to bring this kind of message. But when the moon card comes out, there is something hidden. There is. Okay. Something is an illusion somewhere in your life. And, you know, that's what it says. And with this page of pentacles reversed, it's like somebody is being very stubborn. They're not respecting you, you know. There's some, also behind the scenes, there's, some, there's definitely something going on behind the scenes. Okay, there is. And I think that you know about it. You know about it. Your intuition is trying to tell you. And I think that you are on the verge of perhaps freeing yourself from this situation, you know. That's what it looks like to me because it looks like the door is going to close because you need unconditional love. Oh, flipped over. I have to take it. Now, this could be for you or for the other person. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Perhaps he, this person that you're with has a magnetic attraction to somebody else, or you do. You know, I'm not. I don't know. What's, or it could be the person you're with. You take this however it resonates with you. There is a strong magnetic attraction here between you and another person. I'm gonna tell you, we have uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. We have you. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces. We have Virgo, which I already said. Oh boy. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, very soon. 
very so clearly decide what you want make your decision do you stay or do you go <coughs> this empress card tells me that your strength comes from your gentle compassion and your love without expectations I think that you deserve something along that line and it appears that this person right here look at the stern look on his face I mean look at the look on his face he's not happy <clears throat> excuse me and this is a man or a woman by the way not happy they don't see you for who you really are they don't see your compassion they don't see your love they're breaking your heart they have a chip on their shoulder I, somebody wants to free themselves or somebody has already mentally freed themselves perhaps they have chemistry with somebody else but they're only hanging on for financial reason, reasons somebody's just hanging on for because of the money I don't know who it is okay but there's definitely something going on behind the scenes all right, we have two cards that signify that. And it's time for you to accept the truth and open your eyes. This, this, this Ace of Swords says it is time for you to open your eyes, Capricorn. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay? So this is what I have. And I'll talk to you later.